guys happy december oh my gosh i can't i can't it's december i'm so excited for this month uh it's you know it's the most wonderful time of the year and i'm just uh it's just i'm so excited i don't even there are just words words escape me uh so again i'm gonna have to apologize if you watched my video earlier in this week um uh, my voice is still out this is just like the longest stupidest cold ever but it's fine nothing's gonna break my christmas spirit uh and i really wanted to film this for you guys today so favorites my lifestyle favorites they range from clothes and accessories beauty home goods although kind of stretching the home goods category a bit into something else this week multimedia um tasty treats that i'm enjoying lately and then at the very end, I pop in a couple of my like mommy picks or things that I like for my toddler, things that my toddler likes, you know, same thing basically. <laughs> Whatever she likes, I, I generally like. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. So um, you probably know if you've been hanging out with me for any amount of time lately <laughs> that I am quite pregnant. I'm in my third trimester with my second baby. And so I don't wear clothes that aren't maternity clothes anymore. <laughs> And I haven't for a while because I popped out with this baby so fast and I have just like, I'm like so, I feel like I look full term already and I'm not full term. I'm like 30-ish weeks. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't even keep track. Second baby. Hashtag second baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what I mean if you, you've been down that road. Anyway, um. So yeah, I'm going to talk about a couple of my favorite maternity clothes of late because that's what I'm into. And I know that this isn't like a pregnancy specific video, but just bear with me. I'm only going to be pregnant for a couple more of these, maybe even just one more of these favorites videos. So you don't have to, you know, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Uh, leggings. I am now in the stage of pregnancy where I don't wear basically anything but leggings because they are the most comfortable. Even my like pregnancy jeans like skinny jeans which are basically glorified leggings i'm like no anything that could possibly rub or chafe in any way forget it forget it forget it i want leggings my skin has been super sensitive on my body this whole pregnancy and it's getting exceedingly so i'm going to talk about that a little bit more in the beauty category as well so leggings it has pinned and there's two leggings that i swear by one which was, was a holy grail for my first pregnancy and then another one that wasn't available during my first pregnancy um, but it's currently available in completely different price points and um i wrote it down so i would say them right the ones that i wear pretty much all day every day are the splendid secret fit belly french terry maternity leggings these are like 90 dollars leggings okay let's just start there they're Splendid, which is a very expensive brand, high quality clothing, very soft. They're very expensive. I bought two pairs in my first pregnancy because I wore the first pair so much, I was like, I need a second. And they was, it was money well spent, I wore them to the ground. And guess what? They, regardless of me wearing them, really it's literally every day for like almost half of my first pregnancy, they are still in great shape for this pregnancy and I've been wearing them every day. I have two pairs, so I, you know, I kind of alternate and I wash them each once a week. Um, they, I've been wearing them for like at least the past month, if not six, eight weeks now. It's just all I want to wear and they are a little bit warmer, I would say, than your average leggings. So they're good for this time of year. I don't think I could handle wearing them in the summer. They're too heavy but they are just the best. Now, they're not gonna suck you in in any way. They're not gonna make your legs look awesome. And by awesome, I mean like slimmer. They're, they don't have any sort of like body hugging properties, but the comfort is unparalleled and they are completely opaque. And they're the best. They have the most room in the over the band. They're an over the belly kind of band um, legging and they have the most room in that. Way, which is why I wore them well and you know to the end of my pregnancy with my first and now totally with this bigger belly this time around for sure I had to mention those on the other side of the price spectrum did I write down the price I didn't there's the ones from Target Target has um, kind of a, they've introduced a newer 
uh, maternity brand called Ingrid and Isabel, which I've seen at Nordstrom. I think I bought a couple, a couple of things from them at some point during my first pregnancy from Nordstrom, but they have a cheaper line at um, Target. And they have their over the belly, what do they call them? Over belly panel leggings. I, they're $20 or less, I, I wanna say. But I'll have them linked directly below because I know they're still available. These are great for a much less expensive price point. They're a lot thinner. These I wore a lot more in the first half of my pregnancy. So in the splendid ones, I'm a, I wear a medium. It's true to size. That's what I am in bottoms when I'm not pregnant um, and in all other pregnancy bottoms. Um, but the Target ones, the Ingrid and Isabel ones, I had to size down to a small because they're like really baggy. They're really great. They're, they're very opaque for the price. They're a really nice quality. They wash great. I actually even put these in the dryer. I don't put my splendid ones in the dryer, only occasionally when I need them really quickly. But I tend to air dry all my leggings just because I find they last longer. Uh, but I have put these Ingrid and Isabel ones in the dryer just because they're so big and I wanted them to get a little bit smaller. Um, so these are great and they're super soft and they're super affordable. And I actually bought, they have, uh, this is a slightly different variation of them. I mean, I have, <laughs> I'll pop in pictures, you guys. You're gonna look at this and be like, I don't know what the heck she's holding up. Um, they have this crop version that has some like kind of paneling on the sides. They're more sporty with this like lower cross back area. Um, I had bought these specifically for Disney World because I knew that in the humidity and I was just not gonna be able to wear any of my old maternity pants. Not that they don't fit, like my crops and stuff. I, I wore some to dinner and stuff, but for sweaty mornings, long walks in the park, I wanted leggings. I wanted leggings and I wanted crop leggings. So I bought these, they were about the same price. Um, and these do kind of, these sporty ones do kind of suck you in just a little bit. They didn't really do much to my, my thighs or another story. This pregnancy they've gotten on the wall, like a, Oh, they have their own life right now. Uh, but those have been great. So I had to mention those. Those are my favorite, favorite things to be wearing right now in terms of leggings. And I know leggings can be really tough, pregnant or not, to find. So I wanted to share. Okay, beauty. I mentioned my skin's been super dry this pregnancy on my body. And it's just been really, really sensitive. So I've kind of needed to up my moisturizing game. I love the Aveeno moisturizing line. It's great, but I needed something a bit more emollient. <laughs> I saw this at Whole Foods, which I'm at once a week for our, our general grocery stock up. And um, I was like, huh, it says emollient right on the bottle. I think I'll give it a try. It's the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion. And I bought it in the um, unscented version because I just wanted to try it to see if it was something that I could continue using after baby is born. I like to use mostly unscented products for the first, at least, I don't know, five or six months, just personal preference sort of thing. Um, I really like this lotion, you guys. It comes in a huge thing. I've been using this for about, I guess only about a month. I go through a lot of lotion. Um, but it really is very emollient, but it sinks in really nice. Um, and I love the pump. That just makes, I don't know, just makes life a little easier. And I, I really like it. It's no paraffins, phthalates, phthalates. I never know how to say that, phthalates. Animal testing, 100% vegetarian ingredients. It's got, it's a good brand. I've used other products from them before. I had a shampoo that I liked for a while um, from them. So I wanted to mention that. That's been sort of my body moisturizer of choice. Um, for specific, especially dry areas, I like the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I've been using this for a couple of years. After I had Charlotte, I got really, really dry around my neck, and that's when I first started really using this a lot. Um, but I find that it's not only great to keep this part of me really moisturized, because this my neck does tend to get drier, especially postpartum. Um, just all the moisture gets sucked out of you when you're like literally when you're breastfeeding. Um, but I like to use this on my hands and feet. It's what I've been using on my hands and feet at night before bed. It's really great. It's a really nice um, cream that's very effective, but doesn't leave you feeling greasy. And it's kind of total body safe. So you can use this on your face. You, can, you know, it's hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin. Um, and it relieves minor irritation due to eczema, et cetera. I find it really effective. And then lastly, the last part of the trifecta of this moisturizing uh, <laughs> routine is the L'Occitane um, Pure Shea Butter. And this is the 100% Shea Butter. I bought a big one of these during the Sephora 
sale, so I saved like 20% off of it. That was like um, last month. <laughs> it was November. Uh, and this is just, this has been my holy grail. Another product that I kind of got hooked on after I had Charlotte. I uh, It saved my cuticles and nails, which um, I've had to be paying more attention to as we get into the winter months here. Um, but I use this um, basically on my cuticles, on the tips of my fingers, and um, on the calluses on my feet, and just kind of helps keep all those places in check. And I use it right at night before I put on that other moisturizer, the cream from First Day Beauty, kind of in those specific areas. And then um, I will reapply it to my cuticles whenever I think about it throughout the day, which generally isn't very often because I don't tend to remember. But it does help a lot keep with keeping my hands in check. Okay, so I mentioned that I was kind of stretching the home goods um, category this month. Um, it's something I, I, I don't know how to like pop it into a cat one of those categories that I always share on my lifestyle favorites um, so it's, it is a home good because it does help me run my house better and it is something that I've relied on heavily for the past six months especially with all of the home renovations we've had and just being pregnant and tired and just needing a, a system that was really gonna help me kind of stay on top of my to-do lists and things that I was you know, short-term and long-term goals and things, and that's my bullet journal. I do plan with me's monthly. I have for the past little while, so if you want to see kind of more about what goes on inside of this, I will share that here. I just wanted to give a quick peek at it. Um, I use a Leuchtturm 1917 uh, medium journal. It's a hardcover journal. It's an A5 size, um, and it's dot grid. And I follow basic bullet journal principles. Um, and you will see this if you watch um, my next video will be a plan with me I go through my whole previous month. I show you all of the pages that I did um, This is what I use as a planner these days. I don't use a structured pre-printed planner. This is just a plain notebook Bullet journaling is just a kind of a, a loose guideline on how to make your own planner in a notebook more or less um, and there are certain things that you can follow with the uh, bullets and then you know open circles for appointments and dashes for itemized to do's and things like that that you can follow and there's people there's great people you can follow I talk about a lot of this when I do my plan with me's um, but I have my uh, bullet journal situated in this beautiful leather handmade cover from this great online Etsy shop, One Star Leather, which I've talked about several times now. In fact, if you've watched my um, Extravagant Splurges gift guide, I talked about a notebook wallet from them that I featured in there. Um, great, great shop, and I couldn't recommend them more, and I love, 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 love this notebook cover. It's so beautiful, it's so me. This is the band from my actual Leuchtturm notebook. Um, it fits right over it, I have my personalized, embossed with my initials um, but I I basically would be lost without this and I decided to start a bullet journal basically like the week before I knew officially I was pregnant so <laughs> you know something was going on with my brain like my brain was saying like I need something different for planning and then a week later I find out I'm pregnant and that's like right before I started my first bullet journal, but I had already like purchased everything and I was doing like my little research on YouTube and on blogs and stuff on, on what I wanted to do with it. Um, so it really has helped me a lot, I must say. Um, it's definitely an open-ended system. It's not for everybody. Um, some people will love it. Some people will find it overwhelming because it's just a notebook that you fill in yourself. But there is so, I mean, the sky's the limit with it. and. It's really, really flexible, and it's just it's just been really helpful to me. So it does help me with my home. Like I mentioned, we've just had a lot of things that we've done to the house this year, and it's helped me keep on track of that, and appointments, and things that are related to that, and then a million appointments for this pregnancy, and things with Charlotte, you know, and just like, you know, it's just, it's really been working for me. So I wanted to, I wanted to share about it in case you don't watch those playing with me's and you're, you're interested what my um, planner situation is like lately. And actually, I write down my favorites in it every month, so I'm going to flip back to that page and we'll continue on. Okay, multimedia. I don't have a lot to share in the multimedia category this month. I need a drink of water. Hold on. It's just been a busy month. 
One of my goals since the summer has been to read at least one book a month, preferably two, like if I could swing one nonfiction, one fiction. That hasn't really happened. I've been able to squeeze in one book a month for, for the past few months, but this month it just, I just, there was, between getting the holiday gift guide up and traveling and, and the hall, you know, Thanksgiving and that, it just, it just wasn't time. So I didn't do any reading. Woohoo! But I'm hoping to do a little bit of reading before the baby comes because then I know there won't be a lot of reading. But maybe there'll be podcasts while I'm nursing like night and day. So if you guys know of podcasts that you like or books on tape that you just leave those in the comments because <laughs> I'll make a list. Um, but I did start listening to a new, a newer album. I think it's been out for a couple of months and it's Kelly Clarkson's The Meaning of Life. I've been a Kelly Clarkson fan since the beginning. Um, since her, you know, American Idol days. I think she's amazingly talented and I like her kind of take on life, you know, she kind of just says and does it like it is and, and doesn't take a lot of gruff <laughs> uh, and doesn't try to fit a certain mold, at least it seems like to me. Um, she she kind of does her own thing and I appreciate that as a, you know, like a celebrity role model kind of person, I would say. Um, but really more than that, I just really enjoy her voice and her music. And this album is no exception. It's definitely more like current than I am like way, way behind the times in what's like new and happening in music. Cause I just don't, I mean, I listen to mostly like Disney music with my daughter. Uh, but uh, I really, really like this album. It's very powerful. It's very grounded. And it really, ref I think it's a really pure reflection of, of who she is as an artist and as a person. I mean, I don't know her obviously personally, but I just appreciate that sort of genuine thread that comes through. Um, and it's just powerful music and she's got a powerhouse voice, so it's fitting. Um, so I had to mention that. That's definitely been a favorite of mine. Charlotte likes it too. I like the Meaning of Life song. It's probably one of my favorites on the album and Charlotte, Charlotte will sing along in the car. She'll repeat life, life, life <laughs> when that part comes on in the chorus, but uh, it's really cute. Uh, but yeah, we like our Kelly Clarkson. And then for tasty treats, I know I, lately I've been actually like showing you treats, like actual like sweets or things that aren't that like healthy for you or whatever. This month I'm going kind of an opposite route, but it's seriously been a lifesaver for me. <laughs> that sounds so dramatic. Not a lifesaver, but a lunch saver. Let's call it that, a lunch saver. So I just struggle with what to have for lunch. After I've like figured out what to feed Charlotte, I'm just, and I generally don't want to eat it because it's like peanut butter and jelly or grilled cheese or or you know something like that I just I'm not like it my, that's not up my alley right now I'm like what do I have for lunch and I've just been so hungry when the third trimester especially um, and the Pacifica brand of organic soups has been my saving grace for lunch I basically have a box every day they come in boxes not cans so it's um kind of a packaging alternative I get mine at Whole Foods I think you can get them other places too at major grocery stores in Target I'm not sure though I just happen to do our shopping at Whole Foods um, and my favorite I wrote down my favorite um, flavors chicken noodle chicken and wild rice and roasted garlic mushroom lentil I basically alternate between those and I have I, I basically that's what I have for lunch every day and to pair with that um, I know I've talked about these crackers before I feel like I have the back to nature multi-seed rice thin crackers are the best if you have like a salty if you like salt they're really good they're the best rice crackers I've ever had um, they're gluten-free I'm not gluten I don't follow a gluten-free diet but if that's just something that might be interesting to you and if I'm feeling especially hungry that day I'll add in a slice a slice or two of cheddar cheese or something on the side with my crackers just to add a little bit more fat and oomph to the meal but honestly the soup is really filling and satisfying and really tasty for you know prepackaged soup and it's organic and I, it's got good ingredients and it seems really well made so I enjoy it had to mention that okay and then lastly for my mommy picks a lot of you have been asking for an updated like diaper purse video like what's in my bag I haven't carried a diaper bag for a long time I have my diaper purse which I did a whole video on I'll throw that up in the link for you I think the video is over a year old now the purse itself like I haven't changed the contents that much 
um, except for the kinds of toys I bring for Charlotte, which I've talked about those little people, Magic of Disney figures, the little Mickey Minnie. Those are the toys that I bring for her now. I don't, and I, the snacks are just, I had like throw some goldfish and some like mini peanut butter crackers in, in a little pouch. So those are like the snacks and, and toys I carry for her now. So everything else is pretty much the same. I'm not carrying the diaper changing pad at the moment because we don't need it, but instead I have a, I keep a little change of like clothes in there for her. Um, mostly just bottoms. I have a full outfits change of clothes in the car, but I have like bottoms to change just in case. Um, instead of the diaper, you know, obviously, for obvious reasons, <laughs> if you're out of diapers and yes. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into all of that right now, but this is the other thing that's different in the bag. So I didn't feel like it was justified to do a whole video because it really isn't that different. Just a couple of little things are different. But I did wanna talk about this. This is what I call my restaurant craft pack. So I just bought this really inexpensive um, like vinyl zip pouch from Target. I think it was like 70 cents or something ridiculous. And I threw a couple of things in it and I always have this in my bag. So no matter where we are, I mean, it's very thin and light. It really doesn't take a lot of room or add much bulk to the bag. I just thought I'd show you what I keep in it. I have a couple of stickers from Disney World that they give kids. A few crayons, some restaurants, they'll give you like one crayon or they won't give you crayons. So I always just have a few crayons just in case. Cece is still not quite super into coloring yet. Um, she will color for like a hot minute, um, but she's more into stickers. So I have a couple of pieces of, um, it's actually like a really lightweight cardstock and fun colors um, that I have uh, sticker sheets in. So here's some mini ones. And then here's, I think these are more mini ones because mini is her favorite. Mini is her bestie. She had a shirt that she wore at Disney World that said that. Um, and I just have like all backup supplies of this stored in our mudroom. So when we go out to dinner and I pull one of these out, I just pull one out at a time, hand it to her and she works with the stickers mostly and she'll like doodle a little bit on there, but she really likes putting the stickers on the paper. That's really what she's into right now. Um, then I, when I get home later on, I'll just replenish what's, what I've got. Um, so I have those, but then as a, I need something a little bit more intense backup plan are these $1 play packs. Now I think I found this one specifically, this Daniel Tiger one at, um, Michael's, but they also sell these $1 play packs at Target in the dollar spot. Um, and they have them, ten, the ones at Target tend to be uh, seasonal. So they have ones like for the holidays right now, they had some for Halloween, etc. cetera. Um, these are great for a dollar. You get a mini coloring book, a set of crayons that are like already packaged. This is like sealed shut. And then a couple of sticker sheets that coordinate. I'd only pull this out when none of those other things work. Um, but it's a dollar and it's a really nice little stocking stuffer, I think even. Something nice to bring as a little gift like if you're meeting uh, with friends who have kids for dinner or going, you know, going to somebody's house just to, I think this is a nice little gift for a little kid and it can span a variety of ages. My sister-in-law is the one, I just threw that. <clears throat> My sister-in-law is the one who introduced me to these things. She brings them for her kids when they got to dinner and her oldest, who is four, loves, loves, loves these and probably will for a while. And then her youngest, who's about Charlotte's age, also loves them. So they do, they do span a, a length of ages. That didn't make any sense in English, but yeah, I think you got what I mean. Anyway, that's my little uh, restaurant craft pack, as I like to call it. Um, and that is that. I will do an updated, I am gonna move back into a more traditional diaper bag once the baby is born, just because I'll have all of the newborn stuff that I need to carry around. <laughs> and then in addition, some things for Charlotte. So I, the, as much as I love my um, JW Hume backpack, it just won't be big enough for the first six months, I think, until everybody's a little bit older. I do plan to move back into it when I can. Um, but I have a new diaper bag that I will be reviewing after I've actually used it for some time. So that won't be until after the baby is born. So early, early next spring, I think I'll be doing a updated diaper bag review and also showing you what's inside. Um, on the go with two. And that is everything, you guys. I feel like this was so long.
they're all long. My favorites videos are just always long, but I just always have so much I want to share with you. I'm so, so excited for this month. I'm so excited to share it with you. I have been under the weather and you guys, this pregnancy is kind of beating me up a little bit. So I'm going to do my best to keep up with my posting schedule this holiday season. And I'll try to throw in a few more holiday fun videos for you when I can. Um, but please bear with me. I'm just and get as I get bigger and bigger and closer to the end of the pregnancy, it's just getting a little, a little bit more challenging to pull these things together. But I do so love sharing with you, and I do hope to continue to keep up um, with uh, this kind of posting schedule for as long as possible until the baby's born, and then all bets are off. <laughs> but I'll definitely be back and be around. Anyway, I will be back next week. Like I said, my next video will be a plan with me. So if you want to see more about how I use my bullet journal, stay tuned for that. And then a long, long last, fingers crossed, if there's no more snags in the plan, will be the kitchen reveal. So I will see you guys real soon. I hope you have a great, great weekend. Happy start to your December. Happy holiday season. And take good care. Thanks for watching, guys.